Hey, my name is Grant Heinz and welcome to my channel! Assassin's Creed Syndicate is the ninth major installment in the Assassin's Creed series. Set 70 years after Assassin's Creed Unity, Syndicate takes place in London 1868 during the Industrial Revolution. The game has been hailed as the redemption of the series and a lot of people didn't really enjoy Unity. Although, if you go back, they've patched a lot of those problems and it's a much better game than it used to be. Syndicate represents an opportunity for Ubisoft to really make this happen for Assassin's Creed and they're doing this in a couple of ways which are going to blow your mind. Before I start this video I want you to smash that like button if you are an Assassin's Creed fan and check out the cards in the top right hand corner for some epic, epic Assassin's Creed stuff. Without further ado, I just want to say thank you to Megaron for helping me make this video possible. Let's do this. A woman lead character. The story follows twins Jacob and Evie Fry as they navigate London's rooftops and lead the fight in the class struggle between the rich and the poor. Both characters will be playable, utilizing unique skill sets and gameplay styles. Although the gameplay and character growth will reportedly be 75-25 in favor of Jacob, it is at least a small step in the right direction in terms of franchise growth. Because in a game centered around history, it's important to remember that women also influence history. You know what I'm saying? The Rope Launcher The newest tool at players' disposals is this Rope Launcher which can be utilized solely as a means of traversing the urban landscape. This gadget is cooler than it sounds for a number of reasons. For starters, it's gonna make getting away from London police that much easier. <laughs> much better than real life. <laughs> a major aspect of the Rope Launcher is the ability to make zip lines between rooftops, which adds an entirely new dimension to the way that assassins can go about executing unsuspecting targets. Zipping from one rooftop to another or dangling precariously over the enemy before plunging a hidden blade into their necks makes tearing down strongholds a much easier and possibly more strategic orientated task. The Stealth Upgrade While not exactly new as the stealth mode was introduced in Unity, Syndicate presents an improved stealth formula, moving away from the hard snap cover function of Unity in favor of a more modern, softer glide, Syndicate gives players a much more natural and fluid transition from stealth to navigation. Less snapping, more gliding. See what I'm getting at? The throwing knife can also now be used to create distractions and draw your enemy's attention away from an area. The stealth is visibly more seamless and appropriate to the Assassin's Creed franchise rather than the emphasis on crowds and overly perceptive AI that inhibited and plagued gameplay in Unity. No more multiplayer. Well, <laughs> at least for now. Ubisoft have confirmed that Syndicate will focus entirely on single player gameplay. The removal of multiplayer in any form represents a return to the original designs of the Assassin's Creed series where 1 and 2 did not include any cooperative options which made for a much more immersive narrative experience. Ubisoft therefore have abolished the companion app and any of the traditional multiplayer options to this end. Hallelujah. The Assassin's Creed is nothing is true, everything is permitted and that's very confusing to me at times but finally this is true with the exciting addition of Grand Theft Auto horse-drawn carriages. You heard me right, the 19th century GTA is now here. In Syndicate, vehicles, mostly horse-drawn carriages, are available to drive around the city. It'll mean that you will no longer have to stick to rooftops to get around quickly. Vehicles are being integrated into each of the key Assassin's Creed gameplay elements, so players will be able to parkour around them, climb on top of them, or use them as platforms by leaping between them. Hijacking is also possible and London is bustling with traffic and pedestrians whom you can ride over if you're so inclined. They can also be used in stealth by taking refuge inside of them. Fights can travel from the street onto the top of moving carriages. How epic is that? Where you can now shove pursuers into the path of oncoming traffic or even use gunfire to spook horses and jackknife other road users. Despite the growing discontent with the Assassin's Creed series in general, people are feeling their way tired, I suppose, Syndicate has certainly implemented a number of exciting features which I think are just gonna blow up Assassin's Creed all over again. I can't wait to play it. We're back, we're back on track, guys. If you love Assassin's Creed or are as excited as I am about Syndicate, please smash that like button and comment. Tell me what your favorite feature, firstly, of the new Syndicate is and what your favorite Assassin's Creed game is. I'll be down there below commenting with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next video, a high five a stranger. Adios.